رمضان 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 يا حبيب رمضان رمضان أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم خلقكم من نفس واحدة ثم جعل منها زوجها وأنزل لكم من الأنعام ثمانية أزواج يخلقكم في بطون أمهاتكم خلقا من بعد خلق في ظلمات ثلاث ذلكم الله ربكم له الملك لا إله إلا هو فأنا تصرفون he created you from a single soul. Then from that same material that he created a human being, he created his spouse. And he has given you eight varieties of cattle in pairs. He creates you in the wombs of your mothers, a creation stage by stage, making you pass through three periods of darkness. Such is Allah your Lord. The sovereignty and power belongs to him alone. There is no other, cannot be, and will never be one worthy of worship except him. Where are you then being turned away? This passage speaks about the multiple blessings which Allah has showered upon humanity. And although many of the points in this verse have been repeated elsewhere in the Quran, however repetition is needed and a good thing as it refreshes our memories and gets us to constantly think. Allah starts off by reminding us that He created us from a single soul and that our spouse has been created from the same material so we have compatibility with one another. He then changes the discussion to focus on the fact that he has given us animals. In this case, he speaks about four pairs of the male and female, and as some commentators of the Quran have the opinion, he is referring to the sheep, the goat, the cow, and the camel. Now, why does he single out four pairs? And why do the commentators only speak about these ones? Does this mean that there are no other animals that we are permitted to eat and make use of? Of course not. However, perhaps these animals were best known to the people at that time of revelation, so they were alluded to. In addition, these are the most commonly used animals in our daily lives, whether it be to ride upon, assist us in our manual labor, to consume, to use their hides for clothing, and also for other requirements. Allah then switches the discussion back to our creation and talks about our creation in the wombs of our mothers in the three layers of darkness. Research has shown that the uterus or womb, which is part of the female reproductive system in which a baby grows, is a hollow muscular organ that is shaped like an inverted pear, that it has three parts, and the thick wall of the uterus has three layers, the endometrium, the myometrium, and the perimetrium. Allah was teaching us the human body structure well before science was able to discover this. This is definitely something to reflect upon and study. In closing, Allah reminds us that this is our Lord, the all-powerful Creator to whom belongs the dominion. There is truly no God other than Him. So how then, with all of the miracles in plain sight, can the majority of humanity be deluded from him? Point of reflection. If we take the time to reflect on our lives, where we came from, the blessings which we have been given in life, and everything that he has gifted us with, then we would truly begin to thank Allah for everything. And not only that is he our creator, but he sustains us and continues to bless us. Always. Ramadan, 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 ya Habib. Ramadan, Ramadan, Laytaka, Dauman, Qarib. Ramadan.